Christmas is one of the celebrations observed by the Christian faithful across the globe. It is a celebration of joy and happiness that holds every 25th day of December. This Yuletide, known as the Christmas Celebration, is a season of love whereby Christians all over the world celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. It is a season when helping hands of affection are stretched out to those in need. The celebration always comes with colorful decorations at homes, offices, eateries, streets, shops, etc. The preparation for the 2013 Christmas in different markets within Abeokuta, the Ogun State capital, saw a multitude of people moving in and out of the markets with different items to mark this year's celebration. There were mixed reactions in the opinion of the people when they were asked of their view of the market situation as they prepare for the celebration compared to that of last year. The market's price for this year is somehow very high because like this hand now let me say if I could say last year when we bought this one around 900, 1000 but this year the man is like telling me that it's going to sell at the rate of 1002. That shows that the rate is somehow high to that of last year. So maybe the it's maybe it's because of the situation of the economy that, that affected the sales, I can't really say. The only thing I can say for telling this year is the market is moving gradually, but it's not like the last year because the rate of chicken is higher than the last one. The last year we are selling layers 900, 1000, but what we buy at farm now, the the price is very high. That's the reason why we are selling layers one, 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 two. We thank God that God make it possible for us to witness the year 2014 in advance. So I need to tell our people that you must do everything gradually and gradually. Because if you think that, because there, if you think, want yourself to make this thing very happy, you must cut your coat according to your size. At this time of celebration, gifts are exchanged amongst people. Santa Claus is present in many different places for children to visit, while some used the occasion to send Christmas wishes to loved ones. In Ogun State, the celebration mood has been in the air weeks before the 25th, as the state government as well as the office of the wife of the governor had put in place different activities to mark the festive period. The first of such activities was the decoration of some strategic places in the state capital, Abeokuta, by the office of the Ogun State First Lady, Mrs. Olufun Shoa Musu. This yearly activity of Mrs. Amusu is an avenue to temporarily engage some of the unemployed youths in the state to carry out creative decorations on major roads. The decorations around the town further adds beauty and serenity. As such, people are seen having fun late into the night when the decorations are more revealing. With the Yuletide around the corner and all schools on the festival holiday, it was a golden opportunity for the children to be brought together to celebrate the season. The office of the wife of the governor of Ogun State, Mrs. Olufun Shoa Musu, as usual organized a kiddies Christmas party on the 21st of December 2013. The party took place at the State House of Assembly grounds at Okemosa in Abeokuta. The event was attended by children from different schools in Ogun State. Parents and teachers, as well as other dignitaries, such as spouses of political appointees and the Commissioner for Education, Barrister Olushegun Udubela, were also in attendance. Before the arrival of the chief host and her husband, children and their parents were already being thrilled with music and other different side attractions such as dance competitions, games and quizzes, after which prizes were won by participants. There was a variety of foods, snacks and drinks for everyone. 
The arrival of the governor, Senator Ibikunle Musun, signified the commencement of the event. <laughs> The State Commissioner for Education, in his address, thanked Mrs. Amusu for such a wonderful gathering. He also used the opportunity to urge the children to be disciplined in their schools and homes. Let me say that um, what has been prompting our mommy is because she's always hearing good things about us, particularly how we are doing in schools. And that is why if we want her to be doing all these things for us, then we must be serious about our studies in our various schools. There were more dancing competitions that thrilled the crowd. Governor Ibikunle Musu went round wishing the children a hearty Yuletide celebration. He also admonished them to be obedient children both at home and in the school. We want to thank God to give thanks to God that we are witnessing another Christmas. The other one is to share, to share love, to love one another, to live in peace and harmony. I wish all of us Merry Christmas and I pray that the new year that is coming will be very prosperous for us. The governor and his wife invited the children to cut the Christmas cake. Our I M A A Happy Christmas! The chief host of the occasion, Mrs. Olufun Shaamusu, reiterated the reason for such a gathering for so many children. It's something that we do on a yearly basis. I mean, everybody celebrates Christmas all over the world, and it's just an opportunity for us to have. Um, a lot of Ogun State's children, students across the 20 local governments to come together as one in the spirit of Christmas to felicitate. She further stressed the significance of the festive period, which she implored the children to share at all times as well as face their studies. I hope as children you are being obedient to your parents. I hope you are studying hard when you're in school because that's the only way you can reward us for now i pray that we see many more christmases and that we have many more christmas parties in ogun state and nigeria and in life generally before the governor took his leave he and his wife paid a visit to the grotto where children came in one after the other to receive gifts from father christmas A chat with some of the children at the party revealed that it was indeed an incredible time for them with lots of fun. They expressed their appreciations to the governor and his wife for their input in the lives of children in the state. I want to tell her that you should thank you very much for what you have done for us. What makes me happy is that I want to tell our governor for making us to for organizing this Christmas party. We thank them very much. We really express what they do for us. God will provide, provide for them in Jesus' name. I have to say big thank you to you. In the continuation of the Christmas celebration, the Ogun State Government organized a nine lessons carol service on the 22nd of December 2013 at the June 12 Cultural Center Kuto in Abeokuto. The carol service was attended by dignitaries including the governor and his wife, the deputy governor and his wife, elders, statesmen, members of the Council of Obas and also that of the Ogun State Executive Council former President Chief Olushegun Obasanjo and former head of the defunct National Interim Government Chief Ernest Shonekon. 
clergymen from different churches, various choir groups, and other citizens of Ogun State. The event featured a special prayer for peace, love, unity, and all that the season represents for citizens of Ogun State and Nigeria at large. The prayer was led by Pastor David Ajibade of the Apostolic Church of Nigeria and also the prayer in Egun by Evangelist Peter K.K. of the Celestial Church of Christ. Baba Dao Mito Kwenau Apu Mito Kwe Awa Lebla Nuna Yongo Sulepo Dignitaries at the occasion took one lesson after the other, representing one of the major programs of the day. And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. Other readings followed thereafter. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone on about them. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem. Because now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are called to worship him. At intervals, several choirs presented carol songs. The Christian Association of Nigeria, Ogun State Branch, also used the occasion to present Christmas gifts to Governor Amusun. When the Yewa Christian Association of Nigeria Can Choir ministered, they were joined in dance by guests as well as the chief host. <laughs> the famous gospel singer who is also an indigen of Ogun State, Evangelist Tokwe Alabi, also ministered by leading all into a worship session with plenty of song and dance. The height of the song ministrations was when the Ion Jesu group was called to the stage. Everyone joined in. Christmas gifts were also presented to Governor Amusu and his wife by Santa Claus, as well as other dignitaries at the occasion. The ninth lesson, which was the last reading of the carol, was read by the Governor, Senator Ibikunle Amusu. The world, and the world was with God, and the world was with God. The carol service did not end without the main message preached by the Bishop of the African Church, Accra, Ghana. Reverend Ebenezer Ademola. In his Christmas message, he pointed out three important sets of people in the society that the government should provide for. The message is that God gave up peace during Christmas time through the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ. So all we need to do is to go back and seek peace with all men. Do not see anybody as your enemy. You see everybody as your Friends. It also shows that we are the citizens of the state. We must also support the government in all good works that they impact upon. And government also should continue to provide good and enjoyable infrastructure in all our nook and cranny of the state 
and also to see to the welfare of three people. One, the citizen in general. Number two, the civil servants. And number three, the politicians. In the conclusion, he left the message of salvation in everyone's heart, which he said will be found only by total submission to the will of God. Among elder statesmen that were invited to the podium to give a goodwill message were former President Olusegun Obasanjo and the former head of the interim government, Chief Ernest Shonekon. When we had the first flyover in Nobu, by state government, built by state government, I made sure I went to buy it. Today it was open because I want to make sure it's real. <laughs> and when I went to buy it and went back to my house, I wrote on my head. I don't do that on my own. But I believe it's his God. And I was saying to myself, I hope God will not be doing this only in a book. And then I went to the book. The book. I saw the one that uh, did him better than the book. <laughs> Let's thank God that there is peace in the state. In the last two weeks or three weeks, I've had the privilege of being here. And I to see a lot of changes. Thank God that there are changes that seems to be manifesting itself. In rounding up the carol service, Governor Ibikunle Musun took out time to give gratitude to Almighty God as well as appreciating the good people of Ogun State for their support and patience with his government. Well, I have to thank you. And when the Baba comes here, he says we are busy. Of course, I've said this several times. If you will be able to do everything, it will be because of those that came before us. One of those two blocks that we are still struggling to catch up with them. Of course, we say that we are not in competition with everybody, but we have to pick those two ones and strike back at least to continue. Look at where we are. Somebody did this so many years ago. So when you see this, I ask myself, when I leave, what will, what will, what will I do? And that's why every day, he also reiterated that the support of the electorate would not be taken for granted and implored the people to keep praying for the government while wishing them a fulfilled Christmas celebration and a prosperous New Year. The last choir ministration was performed by the state choir. On Christmas Day, Wednesday, the 25th of December, Christians in every part of Ogun State all came out to their different churches dressed up in beautiful attires to mark the celebration of the day. To celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, worship and praise songs were on the lips of almost every Christian. From testimonies shared by the Alake of Egbaland, Oba Adedotun Badegbo, at St. Peter's Anglican Cathedral Church in Abeokota, the Kabiyasi believes that there is no doubt that Christmas is worth celebrating and thanking God for. Season of love, a season of happiness, a season, season when we welcome our Savior. Let us uh, show kindness to our neighbors. Let us show love to all our neighbors. 
It's a season of gifts. Let us give to those who cannot afford even a, a meal. Let's assist them. Giving his people and the less privileged a sense of belonging is a trait Governor Ibikunli Amosu and his amiable wife are known for. Therefore, Christmas time is another opportunity to reach out to the less privileged in the state. Among the homes visited were the Stella Obasanjo Children's Home, the Bostel Training School under the Nigeria Prison Service, the Juvenile Correctional Home at Aishero along the Ibadong Express Road, the Stevens Children's Home in Abeokuta, and the Lepers Colony also in Abeokuta. At each of the homes, Mrs. Olufunshua Musum, represented by the wife of the Secretary to the State Government, Mrs. Falashade Adeolua, gathered round the children to celebrate with them. There was much singing. Gifts, which included food items and drinks, were presented to the children to celebrate the season at all the homes. There was also the cutting of the Christmas cake and photographs with the children in all the places visited. The representative of Mrs. Amusu also had interactive sessions with the children on the importance of the Christmas celebration. I just need somebody to tell me what are we celebrating today? Christmas. 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 And what is Christmas about? The birth of Jesus Christ. And uh, my prayer is that we will celebrate many, 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 many Christmases in the name of Jesus. Amen. Still in the season of expressing love for one another, the governor, Senator Ibikunle Amusu, also received members of the Ogun State Chapter of the Christian Association of Nigeria at the Government House at Bilkuta. This gathering is not just cancer. We are privileged to have in our midst uh, the heads of two of the churches. Most of the is the head of our church in Nigeria, and Prime Minister is the head of the church worldwide. So um, it's not just a, a, a handful of uh, Christian elders, it is a gathering that cut across the denomination of Christianity. And the whole idea behind this is that the His Excellency directed that. Yes, he meets with our leaders often time. We only we still met about three or four days ago at the Carol. But on Christmas Day, he desires to celebrate with us the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Pastor Emmanuel Adetayo of the Cathedral Church of St. Paul, Shagamu, commended the good works of Governor Ibikunle Amusu in the nooks and crannies of the state. He particularly made reference to the transformation going on in Shagamu and the entire Remo land. I'm standing to greet you on behalf of my Lord Bishop, the Right Reverend Dr. Michael Fakwe, for the wonderful work you are doing across the state, especially at our wing there, Shagamu and Remo in general. We appreciate you. The Lord we bless you in Jesus' name. Other men of God that also delivered their own goodwill messages were full of commendation for the good works the Senator Ibikunle Amosun administration is carrying out in the Gateway State. There was also a presentation of gifts to the Governor by the Chairman of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Ogun State Chapter, as well as other Christian bodies. Speaking, the chief host of the occasion, Senator Ibikunle Amosun, in his goodwill message, thanked all the guests for honoring the call of being part of the gathering and for all their support which come in prayers. He also charged the good people of Ogun State to continue to live with each other in peace and harmony regardless of their religious affiliations. The governor also gave words of assurance that his government would not relent in fulfilling all that it had promised with the help of the Almighty and the continuous prayers of the majority. We will continue. We know that the quantum of money that we will need to focus and tackle the rural areas will not even be as much as what we are presently spending on all those what I call the major and urban ones. Once that is sorted out, 
then we will now go into rural area. And in the budget that we did have, we have said that two at least in each of the local government. To round up the Christmas Day celebration, special prayers were offered for the governor, his family, the Ogun State government, and the entire citizens of the state in general. It has indeed been a Christmas worthy of celebration, because promises made have been promises kept, and the good people of Ogun State are set to witness a more promising and more fulfilling 2014. The people of Ogun State show their happiness and gratitude to the Lord Almighty as another Christmas celebration meets them alive, hale and hearty. Their Christmas messages and wishes to the Ogun State Government is the continuous improvement in the Mission to Rebuild project of the ongoing administration in the state. My Christmas message, the peace of God which passes understanding. I'm happy this is a beautiful Christmas and love for everybody. I thank God for this program. I pray that the governor will continue to do and I wish him a second time after this so that he can complete all that he has started. I thank God for a day like this. I thank God that he has spared our lives to witness yet another Christmas. I thank God for the season in which we are. I thank God for the excellent governor that he has given to us. I thank God the way God is using him to transform our state, Ogun State, right through the four corners of Ogun State. For comments, questions, and observations, send a text to 080 9578 9802 or 081 0672 1434 or send an email to Mission to Rebuild with the number 2 at gmail.com Be a part of rebuilding our beloved Gateway State. Amogun Isheya